Hello and welcome to this Substance Designer tutorial. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off in the previous video and we're going to continue uh, completing here this uh, roughness rust link uh, function. So if we take a look at the steps, we want to get the roughness amount control. Now, we haven't actually created this yet, so let's go back to our main graph, double click to get to the root level. And so here, we're going to uh, create another parameter. So I'll click this button to create a, par a parameter. I want this to be a uh, type as float one, and I want it to be a slider. And so here, I'm just going to call this uh, rough underscore amount. And for the label, I'll just call this uh, roughness amount. All right, so my default value here, I want to be zero. Okay, so uh, we want to make sure that we know what our identifier is and that it's a type float, so roughness amount. Uh, let's jump back into our function graph. And I'll hit the space bar, and I'm going to do a get float. And we're going to use our drop down to target that float so we know it is rough amount. So now we have this guy. Now, here we want to do the same thing. We're just going to do a linear interpolation. So I'll hit my space bar. I'll type in uh, linear, and here it is. So we'll grab this node. And we know that uh, this rough amount is my driver, so we want this to go into the third input. And now we want to set our range for A and B. Well, we already have these nodes here, so let's just take the, the 0.25 .25 and plug it into A, and the 0.5 and plug that into B, and we'll just move these guys down a little bit, and now we want to just take this LERPS output and plug that here into the ELSE. So this is going to be output if our Boolean is set to false. So here we'll grab our directions, and we'll just kind of move them here. So this becomes our completed function. All right, let's jump back here to our main graph and let's take a look. So I'm gonna come over here to my rust amount and I'm gonna set this here to zero. All right, so this uh, right now, because we have our rust effects roughness, because this Boolean value is set to true, uh, it's already setting this uh, rough for me automatically. All right, so let's come over to this uh, Boolean value and let's set this to false. So now you'll notice that when I start to uh, increase my roughness here, or excuse me, my rust, well, we get our rust, but our roughness is not changing at all. All right, so that's working correctly. So again, since we have this Boolean value, uh, or in, since we have this Boolean value set to false, that means this roughness control that we created is actually going to handle the rough for us. And we know that because we use that linear interp at zero, uh, we have a 0.25 value. Now, as I start to increase this default range here, you can see that now our roughness is increasing. So now I have a separate control here for the roughness itself. And I can drive these separately, or I can uh, go back here to my Boolean and just enable this. And then the roughness is going to be driven here by our rust amount. So again, I increase my rust, and you can see our rust is changing. All right, so um, if I just come over here to my input parameters, and I'm going to click this preview button here, you can see the controls that we have. So here I can see that we have our metal color, we have a rust amount, we have a dirt amount, uh, but then here we also have our uh, rust effects roughness. Now, if we set this to true, uh, this value here isn't going to do anything for us. It's not gonna actually change the roughness value at all. So what we wanna do is if rust effects roughness is enabled, then I don't want to see this roughness amount slider. I only wanna see this if the rust effects roughness is set to false. So we can do that by just using our visible input field again. So uh, here, I'll just uh, jump out of preview mode. And here I have my identifier for rust amount. Uh, so here, we'll close that up. We don't need that. What we're actually looking for here is our Boolean value, so rough link. This is our identifier. So I'm going to target this. So I'm just going to copy this identifier name. And then I'm going to come down here to this roughness amount slider. And uh, I'm going to use the syntax to target that input. So that's going to be input left bracket, open quote, and that's a double quote, and then uh, I'm gonna control V to paste in that link, uh, close quote, so it's again double quote, excuse me, double quote, and then the right bracket. So this is the syntax you use to target an identifier. So now that we have this, uh, we can say that we only want this visible if the rough link is equal to false. Now, here you'll notice that uh, I've got a little error that's uh, showing up here, and it says that uh, parsing error, and it kind of gives me uh, uh, a little indication of where this is. So I see that it says right there at equal false. 
So if I look at what I, I have written here, uh, I can't just use the single equal. So when you have the single equal symbol, that's like we're trying to set this to something. We are, don't want to do that. We want to check for equality. So in that case, I need to just use the double equal. So I'll hit enter again, and now that uh, error goes away. All right, so uh, now that we have this set up, let's go in here and just preview our control. So now you'll see, uh, okay, we've got our metal color, we've got rust, we've got dirt. Uh, here, let's just adjust our rust amount a bit. Uh, so now we have our uh, rust effects roughness parameter, and so that's uh, this link is working for us. Okay, so let's say that, uh, you know what, I, I, uh, I, I'm not actually using any rust, but I would like to change my roughness parameter. So I'm going to um, unlink these two controls. So rust affects roughness, I'm gonna set that to false, I now have my roughness amount, and now I can change this independently. So maybe I want to set this all the way to zero, which I know is going to put me at that 0.25. Or I have the flexibility to, well, just increase my roughness, just increase my rust amount, and then change the roughness manually as I'm doing here. If I then enable my rust affects roughness parameter, so if we enable that, I can see that the actual control for roughness disappears. And that's because of the expression I used in the visible if for that roughness amount control. All right, so now that I have this, uh, I'll just click apply. And what that's going to do is just set uh, these new uh, settings here as my defaults. And then I can just jump out of preview mode. So here I've just uh, restructured the function so it's just more clear to read. Uh, just to recap, uh, we first take a look at this rough link boolean. Uh, and if it's true or enabled, then we are going to take our roughness range that we have here, 0.25 and 0.5. Uh, we're going to do uh, a linear interp to basically rematch that, remap that to the range that, that is um, set by our rust amount, which is going to be from 0 to 1. And then it's going to output that here to our if which is what is going to be output if, again, this Boolean value is set to true. Now, if this Boolean value is set to false, then what we're going to do is go and grab our rough amount controller uh, that we created on our root level of our graph. Again, we're just going to do a lerp uh, for our same roughness range, just to remap that to that 0 to 1 value. And then we're going to output that here into the else of our if. So again, that is going to be output if our Boolean value is set to false. So this is how we can link parameters together as well as remap ranges using this linear interpolation node.